Eight weeks ago, I started to use this heavily advertised Strivectin 360 Tighten and Lift Peptite Eye Serum. It promised to visibly tighten, firm and brighten the entire eye area. It sounded like the eye cream of my dreams. But does it work? So I am one of these people who gets really easily swayed by the ads I see on social media, particularly on Instagram and Facebook, where you see these wonder products. This Strivectin serum was one of them. Um, I saw the ad on Instagram with uh, before and afters of women who appeared to have really visible tightening and lifting around the eyes and um, I was desperate to try it. So I had a look on Amazon uh, to see what the reviews were like there. And on Amazon UK, it, it has 155 ratings with an average of four out of five stars. So I thought I would give it a go. On the Strivectin website, the makers put on a really good show of science um, where they talk about the product and its results and they point to clinical evaluation after eight weeks with a hundred percent improvement in the look and firmness and elasticity of the skin. Often um, when you see things like that on products, you know, the big thing is it doesn't often tell you, and it certainly didn't in this case um, on the site that I was looking at, how many people actually took part in that clinical evaluation, but it certainly sounds very good. So the peptide formula uses three peptides and we hear a lot about peptides in skincare these days. They are basically uh, smaller, more absorbable versions of proteins. And um, there has been independent research showing that they may have a beneficial role at uh, reducing inflammation and potentially slowing signs of aging. Now the makers of Strivectin say that their triple peptide formula uh, visibly tightens, firms and improves eye contour, even sagging of the upper eye area. And there's an amazing before and after on the Strivectin website, which shows dramatic lifting of the eyelids in just four weeks for someone who, like me, uh, clearly struggled with sagging eyelids. And so when I saw that, I really thought this was the product that I'd been waiting for. Um, it also contains caffeine to relieve puffiness and bright, help brighten the skin. And also marine algae, again, another popular ingredient in skincare to help firm the skin and tackle creppiness. You know, Strivectin is a popular skincare brand. Um, it has an impressive range of creams and serums, you know, everything from moisturizers to cleansers, face masks, retinol serums, and much more. Um, so I was really impressed with the range and the science behind it. Um, and the ingredients sounded impressive and well-researched. So I bought the 360 serum from Amazon UK. I've included a link if you want to have a look at it. Um, the recommended retail price in the UK is £58, which is what I bought it for in December. Uh, at the time of filming, um, it's £39.44 on Amazon. So, you know, offers do come up, but uh, sadly I paid full whack. I should have waited until after Christmas. This is how it arrives. Big old box with a little old serum inside. Isn't that typical? So, you know, there's the box and <laughs> this tiny little serums in the middle. Um, it is a 30 milliliter tube that you get with it. I should say, I've had a look on Amazon US. You know, I like to look at products on the Amazon sites because I've got quite a lot of um, viewers from the US and UK and Australia and all over. And generally we have Amazon in common. It's this particular one, there's a whole range of Strivectin products on Amazon US, but this particular one I couldn't see listed. You know, double check for yourselves. Um, when I had a look at the Strivectin website, it is priced at 69 dollars. So on Amazon, there are some five star reviews from people saying they were simply floored, and that's a quote, um, by the results. But there are others, uh, one star reviews on there from people who, who said they didn't notice any difference at all. 
Um, I noticed a very recent one from someone in the US saying that they thought the formula had been changed um, and that the original non-peptide eye serum formula they felt worked better. That's just an opinion. A few people complained that it made their eyes swell up. Well, I used it morning and night for eight weeks without any sensitivity at all. Um, it's fragrance free and it doesn't cause any stinging or any kind of sensation. It is a 30 milliliter tube with this metal applicator at the end. Um, and the idea is you use the applicator to um, apply the serum. They recommend, Strivectin um, recommend that you put this in the fridge. But you know, using it morning and night, I must say I started out doing that. You know, the theory being that you're using this cooled applicator which would help reduce puffiness and that kind of thing, calm the skin in the morning. But I mean, the reality when you're using it twice a day, you know, going up and down the stairs, getting in and out of the fridge, after about the first week, I gave up on that and uh, just kept it in a shaded place in my bathroom. So it suggests using a pea-sized dollop for each eye. Now, I found that a bit much, I have to say, because it says that it will fully absorb into the skin without causing tackiness. But I've got to say that wasn't really my experience. I mean, a pea-sized amount of this serum you know, let's say it looked something like that. And um, rubbing all that into the eye area round and underneath, I felt um, left a kind of layer that was just a bit sticky. Um, so I used about that amount and distributed it over both eyes. Um, and you can put a moisturiser and makeup on top. Um, so, you know, you kind of wait for it to fully absorb and then put your makeup on or a moisturizer. I have to say that I found particularly under the eye that just that slight tackiness, I can actually just feel it a little bit now, meant that makeup was more prone to sort of flaking and um, running around the eyes. I've got a little picture of, of, of what that looked like. Um, and sometimes as well, if I was rubbing my moisturiser or my foundation in on top of it, it would kind of congeal so that it hadn't fully absorbed into the skin. And then when it met with the foundation, you know, I got a little bit of a, like a kind of congealed substance on my eyes. So, you know, that wasn't ideal, I have to say. It was a bit annoying. So sadly, and I mean sadly, because I really, really wanted to believe that there is a cream out there that can actually tighten the skin around the eyes. I mean, wouldn't that be amazing? But here is um, a picture that I took by that very window on the first day of uh, trying the cream. And here is a picture that I took this morning by the same window and I've put them side by side so you can have a look for yourself whether you can see any lifting. I don't think I can. I thought I could potentially, and I may be being generous here, see a little bit of a smoothing of the skin around this side of the eye. Um, but certainly and crucially, no lifting of the skin on my eyelids after eight weeks continual use. So my search for that miracle cream sadly continues. And I've got to say, you know, working in the media, if there was a cream that on a consistent basis um, delivered the kind of results that we see on the lady on the Strivectin site who has got a visible lifting and tightening of the skin in four weeks, according to Strivectin. If there was something like that on the market that was consistently offering results like that, uh, we would be all over it in the media. You know, it would be, it would be big news because we're all waiting for a miracle cream. Um, but it feels to me like there isn't one out there quite yet. I'm still looking for it. And if I find it, I'll let you know and vice versa, I hope. I mean, if, if you have anything that's worked for you or if you've tried this and it's worked for you, let me know. So far, by my reckoning, the things that do work, unfortunately, um, for uh, eyelid lifting would be surgery, which I'm not very keen to try. Um, I have tried thermal ablation and um, I'll include a link to those results. I had a treatment called Tixel. I had five 
treatments in a clinic and I did get some lifting of the eyelids, but not a complete result. Laser treatment, uh, I think works similarly. You know, they're causing a little bit of damage uh, to the, the skin tissue, causing the body to um, generate more collagen to give it a kind of plumping effect. Those treatments are probably the most effective things that we have that I'm aware of um, to date. Not a cream yet. So crucial question, would I buy Strivectin again, the 360 tightening serum? And I've got to say no. Uh, based on the results that I've had in the last eight weeks, um, I can't see any major difference and I wouldn't go splashing out on this again. I hope that you found this review useful. There are lots more like it on the channel. You know, I cover uh, beauty treatments and household appliances and more. Um, and if, like me, you find yourself vacuuming the house on an almost daily basis, if you've got a pet like our Daisy dog who just sheds hair daily, then you're gonna love what's coming up next week because I'm going to introduce you to my new best friend, which is my robot vacuum cleaner called Yuffie. So I hope you'll be able to join me. Until then, thanks very much for watching and I'll see you next time.